Okay, it should be recording this time. I didn't fuck up on purpose, I swear. Okay, um, hi. So, this is a bit, a bit of a joke stream, but, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna be s just gonna fucking sit here. Get get pull out a fucking Xenoblade t tier list that doesn't have anyone from Xenoblade X by, by the way. Um, game erasure, I guess. But um, yeah, n not really any gold today here. Just just a dumb dumbass tier list with my opinions opinions and shit. So yeah, don't expect anything special from this stream. Let me just uh. Pull this out, and the uh, Mithra can go away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's not the one I wanted to vanish. Okay. Um. I guess we start off from order. I mean, I don't see any other r way to go about this. I can already see some characters that I genuinely cannot give a shit about. So th that'll just um. Can I actually make another tier list where I like I literally forgot about them? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Actually, um, hold on, hold on. I need, I, I, I never actually found out what what these um tier lists are all about. But um, can I make an extra row? I don't think. Okay, add add a row below. Yeah, that sounds right. And uh, name this. Oh wait, I know. I know. I know. I know what's the name of this. There we go. That's per that's perfect. Okay. Uh I guess um What do I even make this? I'll make I'll make it black. Actually, no gray. That that sounds that sounds decent because I don't feel I don't really feel that much about them. So that makes sense. I you know what? I'll make another another row actually specifically for um. I won't name who. Add a row above. The the S tier can remain red, I guess. Um. This one can be purple. And let me just get this out of the way. You, you know who you know who it is. If I can just find her really quick. Here she is. Just uh I apparently can't put her all the way. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, so, um, I guess we'll start off, um, just, uh, looking at everything in order. So, first off, Adam. Um, I, I like Adam a lot, actually. Um, like, he's, he's a bit of a dumbass, but that's, a, like, you know, quoting Mithra, but, uh, I don't know if I really rank him that, that high, though. I mean... Yeah, sure. He's items great, but um, uh, what what what's my pr issue with Adam actually? Like, I like that fact that he's an actual dumbass, and he actually does get a bit um, get fucked up after a bit of tur you know what? I'll put I'll slap it on um, S tier. He's fucking great. I like I like Adam. I don't know. I don't even know what I was suggesting by um, cause there really isn't a reason to not dislike him. I mean, he's just a fucking. Just a dude with a cool sword, you know. I mean, there's obviously a lot of reasons. Um, Adam's pretty pretty great. Um, I haven't played Torna in forever though. I just remember liking him a lot, so I just I'll just leave it at that. Uh, Egeon. Uh, uh, here's the funny thing about Egeon. I never really cared about him, like in terms of 
personality, if you can even call it that. Um, he's just a a samurai boy, you know. Nothing really um inter interesting about him. Like not even in Torna, where they supposedly like flesh out all the all the blades from the past, like um Bridget and um. Who else was there? Well, obviously Mithra. I just don't re remember anybody else from. Um... Oh yeah. Um, where is he? Um, I forgot his fucking name. Uh, where is he? I don't. I don't see him. Bro, he's not. He's not even on this tier list, bro. Oh wait, no. Um, here he is. Um, what the fuck is his name? I need. I need to look it up. Give me a second. Uh, it's at the top of my head too. I just don't know. I just don't know exactly remember. I should probably play some music for this too. Actually, um, let me just uh bu bust this out. Uh, what should I even put this? Oh yeah, I, I know I know what to put here. Okay. Okay, that should be good. I still don't know the dude's name. I'm still checking. I like how Turters is one of the top characters for um, Zetoblade, but you can't, literally can't find anybody else. Minoth, his name is Minoth, okay, um, yeah, no, I don't think they really developed Minoth as a character either, I mean, from the past, yeah, but oh well. As for, um, Aegean, I guess, um, Seetzer, I don't, I don't hate him, I don't, I don't really particularly like him that much either, but it doesn't help that his design is just like, it just looks like a highly upgraded common blade, if that makes sense, and I feel like everybody said that to top and back. But, um, yeah, that's exactly how I'd rank him. Um, what's his face? Um, I know his name at the top of my fucking head. But the fucking son of a bitch himself, uh. I don't want to have to look up everybody, though. You know what, fuck it. I can't believe I've forgotten every character's name here. Well, almost everybody, but... Akos, Akos, yeah, okay. Um... I mean, I like Akos. I mean, he's he's obviously a fucking asshole. Like like uh, almost everybody in Torna, and they barely get any de development either. I mean, the closest you get is um the shit that's that happens in um the land of Martha. But um I think um I would actually put um him and Seater as well. I mean he has his mo he has his moments, but. It's just not not enough. I feel like every everybody in the Torna group just doesn't get nearly as much development as they as they should have in the main story. I mean, it would have helped that they had some like side quests or something, but um, it, it's just not there, y'all. It's just not there. Okay. Um. Oh come on! I can't have forgotten his name too. Amalthus. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't. It, it, was, it was at the top of my head. Um, Amalthus. Um, Amalthus is complicated. Um, cause, cause after playing Torna, it's like, oh yeah, he's a fucking big ol' son of a bitch, but, um, that one moment in, um, chapter... Actually, it's about the whole, the whole thing. Like, he's not... Actually, actually, no, okay, he's evil, evil, but he's not evil for, like, no fucking reason. Like, any, anybody with a fucking... 
backstory should have, and they did give it to him, but... Is he... Like, I wouldn't rank him next to Zanza. I mean, Zanza is just fucking evil just solely because he's like the evil half of Klaus, right? Oh yeah, I should, I should probably men have mentioned this, but there's obviously spoilers in this, but... I think, um... I, I wouldn't rank him that high. I mean, he's not a case of, um, you, you love to hate him or anything. I just, <laughs> I just hate him. Uh... <clears throat> you know what, I'll just put him on, on B tier. He's, he's a good, he's a good villain. But, um, I don't really, I'm not really, I don't really remember his motives or anything like that, so... That's kind of a, a, a me thing, but oh well. Klaus, from, specifically Klaus, um... He's cool... But, he literally only shows up at the end of the game. I mean, not nothing particularly... Not really a character you should really care about all that much. Especially because, um... Like, you get it, right? Because he, he remade the universe. He stayed there in the, in the universe that he stayed in Magazine Way 2. But... that That's that's it, really. I mean... I mean, yeah, he helps Numa and, and everything in, in the gang too, but... Where would I even put him, though? I guess... C tier 2. I mean... It would've helped if he had, like... You know what I really wanted out of Future Connect? Like, a, like um... The, something like what Torna did. Where, um... They did, um... The past instead of, the uh, Instead of whatever Future Connected did with, um... I like the fact that it was, um... With the gang. At, like, after the, after the game, but... I really- I, I feel like Xenoblade really needed, um... Like a- like a story before the whole universe thing, thing happened. Like, like, it's just a separate game. Where it just shows off, um... Galea and Klaus' stuff to get to where they were, to- to the point where they just destroyed the universe. But that's- that's just me. For now, I think he'll just, um... Actually, no, I'm a- I'm a boom to be. I, I like Klaus. I mean, I don't really hate him either. I mean, there's really no reason to. He just kind of went mad, because who wouldn't with, when they're fucking ha hands on, on the universe or, like, a way to, like, reset the universe that was in their grabs? Like, what, wouldn't you do it? Okay, uh, Gramps, or, um, Azurda. I like him a lot. He's he's a cool dude. <laughs> I'll just, um, put him on A tier. I mean, it's Gramps, dude. He's, like, the guide throughout the entire game. I mean, he, he's a, he's a pretty, like, I, I don't like that he just turns into a baby for the rest of the game. As if anything, I really do miss his um, Titan form, and I thought it would have been cool to um, travel around with him like you, you used to. I mean, not not even used to, because you really only do it once throughout the entire game, and it's like, eh. Oh, I mean twice, because you do escape from um, the ship and the ship and everything. But aside from that, I, I, I just Gramps is cool. He's a cool dude. Uh, I don't even remember who the fuck this is, um, what's his fucking name? Baltrish. Okay, um, I'm just, I'm just gonna immediately slap him on the, not very interesting, for I forgot they existed. I mean, I feel like everybody in Untorna didn't really get much of a chance to shine. I'm, in fact, as a matter of fact, this was the old Praetor, right? Oh wait, um, was it even? I don't even remember. But I, I don't really care for him. I, like at all, and I played Torna went back when it came out, and I'm, I 100 percent it, but I can't be bothered to replay it. Anyway, I'll just slap him there. There's no really, there's no really, a, not really a big point to um. Talk talk about somebody I really don't remember. Um. Oh come on, do I need, do I need to look up everybody's names? Abana. I, I can't believe I forgot, I forgot that name, cause cause it's a reused name. Okay, Bana. Ba you know what? Bana's fucking funny, but he he's not very likable either. I mean, obviously, because no no pawn, ba Bana money drugs, but he he's he's um. There's not there's not really a lot to like about Bana. He's just he's just funny, but that's really all that's going for him. Uh, Bridget, she's S tier. <laughs> what do you want me to What do you want me to say? Uh, it's Bridget. And, um, uh, in terms of, like, how I would, like, 
see her as a character and everything. Um, I think in terms of Torna, she's she's funny as hell. I mean, she's so fucking snarky at Mithra for all the right reasons. It's so good. As for um, the next thing, she's a fucking badass. But at the same time, she's so she's so fucking stupid alongside Morag. Like that one, um, I haven't done. I have, I'll have to admit, I haven't done every single side quest in Amzino Blade 2, so I can't really say much in terms of her characters in those. But in the main game, she's she's fucking great. I like her a lot, and her design, mm, good shit, good shit. Um, who the fuck is this? Like I know who it is. He's just um. I remember maxing out his entire thing just solely because it's so easy. Like, I did it the minute you get him, I just don't know his fucking name. Um... Okay, who's here? Uh... Blades, I guess. I don't want to just like disrespect any but any names, so I just pull them out. Is that supposed to be Cressidus? I'm assuming that's Cressidus. Oh, what's good, Zeno? <laughs> what's what's up? Good luck on work, by the way. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm just sitting here ranking all the characters. What's what's the yes for? <laughs> the Melia supremacy or something? I'm assuming that's what that is. But um Yeah, I was just talking about um Cressidus. Um not very interesting um, either. I mean, I don't think any of the blades uh, the DLC the DLC blades at least um get an actual side quest with them. At least I don't I don't fucking remember it. That's the problem with these um DLC blades. They don't really do anything with them. Like, aside from the Torna Blades, which do get side quests, I don't remember if the, their Blades, who are also Blades, really got anything out of it. Like, again, I fully admit to not doing a single side quest at all, but I don't know. I, I feel like they were done dirty the, the way they were handled or something. Like, you can correct me if you, if you, if you did anything, but um, I personally wasn't too interested in any of the Blades. As a matter of fact, let me just put, um... All of them in here. Actually, no, I'll put, um... Actually, no, yeah. Only hearts are hearts for Torno Blades. Yeah, okay, that's fucking weird. Like, I don't really... Th like, that's the thing about the hearts hearts, too. Like, you don't need to do anything to access them. You can just do them, but, like... I was I didn't care for the blades enough to actually go and do that, you know? Other DLC blades that's side quests. Okay, that makes sense. But, yeah, I didn't do... <laughs> I didn't care enough to do them. So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna slap all the... All of their blades on there because um they just don't do a ton with them that's that's like I feel like one side quest they gave them but even then I didn't care enough to do them so I just leave them there for now um okay I'll just move on then uh Dromark I think Dromark's <laughs> fucking nice um I like the character dynamic they had with um Gramps and him but it's it's so short lived. I, I really wish we gotten some more character, some more, uh, what's more the world I'm looking for? I want some more interactions between him and Gramps. Like, if you remember back when they stayed in um, in uh, what where was it um, that that um, yeah Argentum. They hung out in Argentum. <laughs> they were funny as shit together. I wish they did more of that with him. But other than that, he, he's he's fine. I mean. He's just a tiger butler. That's all he really is. But um, yeah, I like I like Dromark. I don't hate him. He's just kind of, yeah, he's just kind of there. I, I don't remember him being particularly important aside from like being from Nia's partner from like way way back. But yeah, I feel, that's how I really feel about him. I don't, I don't dislike him, but I don't I don't I don't hate him either. He's just kind of there. But she wasn't the only rare beast type, like, right? He's the only one. <laughs> like, everyone everyone else is just, um... Like, aside from Bo Boreas, like... He's the only only beast blade that isn't a gacha character. And that's kind of sad. 
But, yeah, um, Dougal, um, I mean, I don't really, he's, he's, um, memorable enough. <laughs> I remember laughing my ass out when he says, it's green, <laughs> you idiot. Uh, that was, that, that was great, but aside from that, yeah, that, that, that's the thing about these villains, too, like, aside from being funny, that's all they have going for them. Like, they're not likable in any way, and they're not supposed to be, they're villains, right? But like they they had this little charm to them like you, like they're memorable enough. This man wasn't funny. I can tell you that much. Um, I, I'm assuming my mouse is on. The, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. But yeah, um, I wish they'd done some more humor with the villains. In fact, that's the problem with like all of them, right? Like they're just <laughs> I'm evil. That's it. I like what they did with them. You know, like two civilians specifically because they're funny as fuck. <laughs> Especially, like, I think the only time they did that, they did that really, in the Xenoblade 1, was Zord. That's really it. As a matter of fact, um, where the fuck is Zord? Just, just slap, just slap him on S tier. He deserves it. It's Zord. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I want, I'm, as a matter of fact, let me explain Zord, um. Just the, the fucking voice he's done, and the fact that he's the same voice as Mui Mui, Mui is so fucking funny. I don't think Mui Mui isn't cheerless, but I feel like just for his voice alone, he will probably be on D tier. But but Zord, you you can't hate him. You really can't, uh, especially because of the fact that he, that he tries to kill Juju. That's the best part about him. Not like not even gonna lie. Uh, okay. Um, with my um, Zord Zord um, my Zord. Uh, what do I even call this? What do I what do I actually call this? Um, I, actually, I'll just I'll just I'll just say I, I like him and I just leave it at that. I feel like that sounds right. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. That's that's over. I guess. Um. Let me just play another one. What do I? Because I play Valak Mountain. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, um, what's his fucking name? I know it! Like, I, I don't- I, I don't think it's right that I'm forgetting all these names, dude. Uh, I, I'm just- I'm just gonna look it up. I, I fucking give up. Yeah, I, I give up. Probably Crawford was one known to put no pun. Where is this bastard? This year's legendary hero pun. Oh, come on, his name has to be here somewhere. Chief Dunga, Chief Dunga, okay. Hmm. I mean, he, he's fine enough. Like, he, he's he's funny. I feel like that's a lot. I, that's a lot of um. That's a good way to get me to like a character. Like, they're 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 a little bit of humor. But aside from like, oh, I put Ricky in massive debt, so I'm gonna send him out here. I don't, I don't feel like they do that much with his character aside from like, he's like, literally just the chief of the of the Nopon. So he's kind of like, he's just kind of helping out. That's really it. But yeah, he, he, I think he's fine. I don't really ha have a problem with his character at all. He, he's just a, he's just a cool dude. Um, Egil, Egil. He's gotta be on S tier. I mean, he's a he's a he's a fucking he's great. He's a good villain. I I mean that's a that's a thing. He's not really. I mean he is, but at the same time, I don't really see him as a villain. You know, he's like 
he's just a guy with um good intentions, I, I like for his his people at least. But um, but even then, I don't think people really agree with Egil either. But I don't know. I like I like his character arc and everything that happens in the Mechanist Core. It's just it's just good shit. I mean, what, what do you want me to say? Um. Okay. Um. I know this dude is um. Fucking. He was Zeke's dad, right? I don't, I don't remember his name, but I, I, I let me just look it up just in case. Let me just look this up. I feel like I've been doing that for a lot, a lot of Xenoblade 2's characters specifically. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just uh, I just they're just not that memorable of names. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's a stupid name. His name is um. Eulo um Menos. That's his fucking name. Yeah. No. No thanks. No thanks. But I will like I will acknowledge that I d I don't really particularly hate him, but he's not very interesting either. Like aside from the fact that he literally just tries to kill the Aegis. For the, for, the, for the good of those people and all, like, after that, they don't, they really don't develop him in any way, like, he's just, like, he's just kind of there. Like, I get that he does, he gives, gives you this some side quest where you, like, travel all around all rest for these relics or some shit, but that's it, I mean, he's not a villain for too long, I mean, really, you just kind of get, dip, like, rescue Pyra and then get, dip out of there, and he did, like, in prison, everybody, but that's it. Same with, um, his name is Galgar, right? Um, yeah, he's not, he's not great. Like, I understand what he did, what they did with him in Future Connected. He's just not a good villain. <laughs> what are you, like, they, they make him like a threat, like once, okay? Like, he, he destroys the Telethia research, but like, after that, he takes off. He's not even a part of the main story anymore. They shove him to the side, make his side, make him a literal side quest in the end, and they don't redeem him in the slightest. He literally just kills himself. Uh, like I feel like Galgar was like the last kind of. He, he's like literally a villain and nothing else. They don't do anything good with him. He, he's just. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we're pure-blooded Hyantia, so we should, like, take take over and shit. No. Like, no, oh, wait, no, I, I forgot, he's not pure blood. he's the like, half-homs, but... You, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, he's not very good. He, he's, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything with that, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, stick to it. Like, he even threatens to kill Melia, so, yeah, that's automatic D tier for me. Okay, um, um, okay, um, this is, um, well, Jade, Jade Face, obviously, but, um, I forgot his real name. Gattle, Gattle, um, I mean, you know what, I'll, I'll just slap it on d -tier as well, I mean, it's not that, um, I, I, it's not like I don't, I don't know anything about Gattle, I, I feel like they shoehorn him a lot in, like, Especially during the, the the during the end game where I say end game, but it's like literally about like a like a three thirds in there. But I don't I don't know. I never really cared for Gadol. I mean, aside from like Char the whole thing with Sharla, and that's what that's what get what Gadol Gadol is. It's just it's just like like literally just Sharla's ex girlfriend. I mean Sharla's ex boyfriend, and um. That's really it. I mean, aside from like, oh yeah, they saved everybody. They were everybody. He, his moments as a like a Mekong was like so short lived. I feel like they could have done so much more with him. Uh, I feel like they did. They really did. Um, get all dirty. I mean, I don't. I really don't have a lot to say about him, cause like, like you, you get it. Like his like an old bo boyfriend before the. Mecca took him, took him out, but that's, a, like, the moment when you meet him, like, right? 
where you fight him and he's like, oh, um, I, I, I don't remember. I'll, I kill you now. That's it. That's all they do with him. After that, when he gets his um memories back, they leave him there. And then he dies. And I just think that's sad. Okay, Jin. S tier, automatically. <laughs> don't even debate me on this. Jin is so, is so fucking tragic. Like, the whole thing with him and Laura. It's just so fucking sad. I mean... I like this character enough in the main game, but Torna made his character so, so much fucking better and tra and tragic too. And and plus he like he had his really funny moments in um Torna, but that's what before he was fucking scarred for life. And um, in Torna, I mean not Torna, on the main game, you see all him doing all this shit for like, like he he kills um. Hayes, or, um, whatever his, his or na her new name was, um, yeah, I don't even fucking remember it, I won't, and I won't bother, but he literally saves her that way. Like, at the ending of, um, Torna, she literally wishes to not be the blade of a Malthus. And the fact that she became that was really fucking, it had to be really fucking sad for him. And, um, yeah, his actions and feelings are completely justified, I feel for him. And by the end, he's like, he, he dies so satisfied, because he knows that's what Laura would have wanted, and that's, that says a lot about him, honestly. Okay, um, Juju. <laughs> Should I, um, I'll, I'll just put Juju in D, T, D tier. I mean, what do you, what do you even want me to say? It's fucking, it's fucking Juju. Dumb, dumbass kid. Like, you get it, he's a fucking kid, but... I mean, even after doing all the Colony 6 shit, he doesn't really develop as a character. Like, he's like, oh, um, I'm gonna go, go away now. Almost dies. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go away now. Rebuilds Colony 6. But you do most of the work. Like, Juju does take care of the items you hand him, but that's it. They don't do anything with his character after, after that. Like, he's just there. I don't really feel for him. I never felt for him. He's Juju. What do you want me to say? Okay, um... Now it's, um... Kalyan. Kalyan. What do I even say about Kalyan? I mean... It's not that I don't like him. Actually, I'll put him on B tier. I don't I don't hate him. I mean, how could you? He's Kalyan. Just just a good old big... A good old big bro. But... Like, he, like um... I don't have a lot to say to actually rebut all my feelings for him. I mean, he's just, he's just fine. I mean, I, like, I like I like him enough to, like, not put him in, um, C tier just because of that one moment we're in, um, Bionis, um, interior, where you're like, oh, you're the hope of the high end tier. That, like, that actually got me feeling shit. And, it, and it's sad, because, um, all these, um, high end tier, like, her people are all, like, gone. So he's like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. He he's cool. I don't really hate him. I re I really do like him, but not enough to like to be an A or S tier or anything like that. Um, who the hell is this? Like I know who it is. It's the. Did she make the Manara replicas or was that um? Where 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 is she actually? Uh, what's her face? What's her face? I forgot her name. Um, let me let me look it up. Oh, Vanea. Her Vanea's her name. I feel like she's the one who actually made the Manara replicas. Yeah, she was the one who made them. Um, but then who the hell is this? Let me look it up. First character had Xenoblade. One character I had to do that for. Okay. Lenata, Lenata. I mean, she's the doctor character, really. I mean, she's okay. I don't. There's no reason to, to really hate her. I mean, she's just the, she's just the village doctor. She's okay. And uh, she's also I like her little head, her little head bun, robot things. I think they're cute. But yeah, um, she's fine. 
I don't really have a lot to say about her. Like, the fact that he, she, she takes all this time to, like, save um, Fiora. I've, there's also this thing where it's, like, um, a couple of months where she helped out um, recreate um, Melia's real body. I feel like that was really good development for her. So that helped out. Laura. I mean... I like I like her enough, but um, not a super, not a superb character. I mean, like she has a great dynamic with Jin, and a lot of the other characters as well. Her past is also pretty tragic. Like like um, like if it wasn't for Jin, she'd be dead already, basically. Um, like she's a really good protag. I mean, I like her a lot. I mean, obviously better than Rex in like every way, but um, I don't really like love her, love her. You know, I mean, I just, I just kind of, I just like her. She's a really good character. I like her a lot. Definitely more than Amountless and um, all these other people, but um, yeah, I feel for her. I like her. She's cool. Uh, Laura Thea. You'll pay for your insolence, lady. I mean. You know what? I'll put her on C tier. I mean, <laughs> you love to hate her. Not, but not really, because um, her fucking boss fight, especially, is a very good reason why. Like, I, I wouldn't rank her as low. Like, it's so fucking memeable. And um, I've, I, as a matter of fact, I, th I think she actually changed her boss fight to Definitive Edition, where she actually says, "You'll pay for your insolence a lot less." Unless I was just very lucky and not hearing it, but. <laughs> yeah, just for that fight alone, I feel like it makes Lorothea memorable enough. But yeah, aside from that, I'm not really a good villain in the slightest. But at the same time, she's not all these other guys. Like she, she's <coughs> evil. <laughs> she's fucking evil. And I think that helps her character a bit. Okay, I need to drink something. Holy shit! I'm gonna burn out my voice at this rate. I don't even know if you can hear it, but holy shit, it's going out. Okay, okay. Okay, I I'm good, I'm good. Morag, S tier, what can you do? <clears throat> she's just so stoic and serious when I say she's so fucking goofy. It's so good. Top tier character design. I mean, I feel like they, I don't, what do you, what, what can I even say? Morag's fucking good. Um, I guess if, if anything, they don't really uh, go into her past at all. But at the same time, they re there's really no reason to. Like, she's just this cool, badass general, general lady. And it's, and it's like, she's, she's so fucking badass. That, that, that's the shit that she does. Like, they want, like, obviously that one moment with the fish. She's just so fucking goofy. And the fact she's like one of the only girls in the party really helps her dynamic a bit with um all, all the all the other other guys where she literally fucking tries to murder a Zeke. It she's great. I love I love her. Malos. Okay, Malos. I mean you love to hate him. But at the same time I don't hate him that much. But holy shit, his character is so good. His voice actor too. All all this all these fucking screams that he does, it's just so fucking memorable. He's such a, he's like a really good fucking villain. He, he's a Xenoblade villain done right, where he's the villain all throughout. From the moment you meet him, he's already evil. And you fight him all the way to the end. Re really only just um like understands where you're coming from only after he dies, and I feel like that does a lot for him. Because you fight him in a Torna, and he's like, oh, he's fucking evil, and you love it. <clears throat> and, um... Uh, he has these really good moments where he's like... He genuinely cares about all the... About Jin, specifically. I don't know about anybody else, because I remember he's like, Oh, I don't give a shit about you guys, but, um... Yeah, my also is like, it's fucking great. I like him. Uh, this, this fuck, um, I'll just put, put him here, let me, let me look up his name just in case. Uh, 
Um, I'm looking. No article about the characters? Really? Yeah, no, there's not a lot here. Maxis, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't care for Maxis. I mean, he's just um Oh, I hate the Ma I hate the I'm racist against Makina cuz um we had a, a mild disagreement. That's not something uh, any compelling character should have and like I would say they don't do anything with him, but like they do. But it's only for like ten seconds. And by the time he like gets some sort of development, he's already out of the story. And by the by, and by then he like <laughs> the story is almost over too, so it's like what was the point? <clears throat> uh, a good old friend metal face. He's another case of you'll love to hate him. The fact that he's so fucking malicious. It's just so fucking good to me. Like, you like you want, you obviously hate him, but it's all for the right reasons. Like, he's fucking, he's so, I can't even, I can't even explain it. He's just a really good fucking villain, all, all the way up until his death. They really went all out with a metal face, in my opinion. He's like one of the, one of the best. <laughs> like you, you can't deny that he's like the way that he just like, like oh I I, I killed your girl. What are you gonna do about it? I, 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 all the way through, he's just he's he's just a major fucking threat through all throughout. And I I don't I don't know. I mean, what do you want me to say about metal face? I mean, mom card. I, I mean, they're, they're the same person. I don't know why I'm putting them. Why are why are they even in um different categories? Actually, like, you want me to rank them in, like different, as in like out of the out and out of out of the suit? Is that what I'm getting at? From? Is that what I'm seeing? Because like they're, they're the same person, right? So I don't see why you need two categories for this, but um. But yeah, no, he's good villain. Fucking despicable as hell. But you lo you love to hate him. You love to hate him. Okay, um, Maynith. Poor fucking character. <laughs> Poor Maynith. Um. Didn't didn't even get a new render for a um, definitive edition. Actually, let me check my art book. Actually, if they actually did anything new with Maynith, I need to bust out that art book right right now. Okay, I got it. Let me actually see if they did anything with Maynith here, because, um... Maynith is fucking... It, she, like, I love her a lot. It's just that... By the time she, she gets something, she's already died, and I and I hate that. She didn't... They did Maynith so dirty, bro. They, they even designed her, like, her 3D model, only for, like, to, for it to, like, get out of frame for, like, the next couple of, a couple of minutes. It's just, uh... <sighs> I, I love Maynith, but they did her so dirty. I don't think they did any new art for her. There's Renea. Kelly and Lorothy. Yeah, no, they don't, they don't do anything with Maynith here. And that's sad. Okay, I'll just put this away now. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about um Maynith here. I mean, they don't obviously they have a good reason not to do a lot with her. I mean, she's just the the girl that possesses um Fior for a bit. That's obviously it. But and you get where she's coming from too. She she's just sad. 
and the fact that we never find out anything about um her previous self, Galea, in um, Xenoblade 2 at all. Aside from like, oh, she tried to like stop him. That's that's it. That's all she get from her. But she, but I like her, just because she helped out and everything. Like the fact that she kept, she gave Fiora another chance to live, and um, well, obviously for her own intentions, but obviously to like draw out the draw out Shulk. But that's it. That's it for her. But I, I can't. I have no reason to hate Maynith. I mean, she's a great character. I mean, you, you, you can't hate her. Okay, um, Mikhail, Mikhail. Mikhail's funny. I like him a lot. Like, I feel like I like him the most out of, um, the Torna, the Torna, um, the Torna characters, I mean. Especially the fact that he sacrifices himself, like, at the very end. Like he he's just he's just cool. I just, like I I feel like he's he's after out of all the characters, especially because of Torna, he's gotten the most development. And even then, like he didn't really get that much out of Torna either. Why is he all the way down here? I mean, I guess in terms of how cool they are, I think I'll put um Kid Mikhail on like D tier. Cause like. Adult Mick cause where they where they get they have fun with them. Kid Mick is just um They don't do a lot with him there. I mean He's mute all throughout and he gets scarred for life because of Mithra. That's the funny thing. Where the fuck even is Mithra here? <laughs> yeah, what? Um where oh wait there she is. Okay, I was about to say what the fuck. But the way they organize this tier list is, we is weird, but, um... But, yeah, no, they don't do a whole lot with them, Kid Mick, but... Mikhail, in the in the base game, he he's pretty... I like him a lot, like, he's not... <laughs> he's like this fucking goofy-ass dude, who's also a big old badass. He's, he's nice. Uh, his name is... I, I remember... I think I know his name? Mikol? Mikol? Is that his name? Yeah, his name is Mikol. Okay. I think I'll actually put him in um B tier. I mean, no, again, no real reason to hate hate the character. He's just a helpful He's just a helpful, funny dude. But he's also very fucking. He can, he can be serious when he needs to be, and it's it's super effective, really. And um. This had better be the only Nia. I better not see, um... I better not see base game Nia here. I swear, the basic, they basically categorize this thing weird as hell. Okay, no. Um, yeah, no. Nia... I mean, S tier. I mean... <clears throat> like, obviously the whole thing with um, Nia being a flesh eater is obviously tragic, but, um... She's fun- she's funny. <laughs> um... She's very- she's a very endearing character. She's also, like... I like how well she meshes with um, the gang and everything. Like she's like <laughs> this snarky little Welsh, Welsh child. Definitely doesn't work with um the Japanese dub, and I feel like the the English dub helps in her favor a bit for me. But I feel like at some point I will replay Xenoblade like, 2 just to get her idea of her character again. But she, Nia's fucking great, dude. I mean, I'm probably not doing a very good job explaining why why I, exactly I love these characters so much, but um, I just kind of do. I just kind of do, y'all. I just kind of do. Okay, um, what's that you say? Um, what's his fucking name? Uh, I I feel so stupid for forgetting all these characters, bro. Atharon, oh, okay. I mean, I'll put him on um, D tier as well. Like you understand where he come, where he's coming from, like in like the la later part of the game, where he's like helping out with the the fight against um, uh, what what what's it, what's the, what's the what's the thing called? I guess the fight against um, McConnus and all that. But like. 
they don't do a lot with this character. I feel like that's a lot. That's a lot of um. That's a big thing about um Xenoblade, right? They don't do a whole ton with. Like the more characters you have, the more the less they're gonna do. Basically, I feel like that that's a big thing to really consider. But I don't hate like I don't hate him. But, I, but they're memorable enough. Like not to the point where like I literally forget their existence or shit like that. <clears throat> uh, Pandora, Pandora. I got I gotta put it on S tier. Well, probably one of the best blade designs out of um the main cast. And that's, like, competing against Bridget. And that's, like, I like her old arc with, um, Zeke, and, like, she's just this big old mom, mom character for Zeke. Like, she like she genuinely cares about him. Like, I don't want to get into, um, if they're, like, a couple, because, um, I feel like they got into it. It was like, oh, I heard these stories where, um, a, a, a person marries on Blades, or was that Pyra I'm thinking of? I don't know. But yeah, I like Pandora a lot. The way they handled her character development, all the, all the way up to like her glasses are completely clear. I like I like I like that about her, and she's also just she's just a lot of fun. Like, what are, what are the other fun moments with her? <laughs> like, you can tell like she she just cares a lot for Zeke, but she also just like wants to fuck with him, you know. And I gotta acknowledge that about her. Okay, um... What's her face? Um... <sighs> on, to, on to checking I go. Petroka, Petroka. Okay. I feel like she's literally, like, like honestly, the weakest out of all, out of all of them. Okay, this that song is already over. Jeez, how long have I been streaming? How long have I been streaming for? Okay, almost, almost an hour. That's not too bad. But okay, let me just bust it another song, I guess. Okay, I feel like that works. Um, but yeah, no, I don't have a lot to say about Petroka, cause like. She's honestly the most forgettable out of all the characters. I mean, you don't particularly care for her that much. I mean, that one bit where she's like basically a sister to Akos, that's that's all that's all she has cuz like okay, that's a bit loud actually. Let me just uh, turn that down a bit. I don't actually wait. Yeah, that's kind of loud. Got to put that down a bit. Okay, I feel like that works. But no, yeah, um, I feel like they, they really should have done more with Petroka's character. I mean, she's like, oh, uh, fuck off, dude. I mean, that's all, like, that little attitude she has. I don't understand why people like, like, the people that do like her, because there's not a lot surrounding her character and all that. Maybe I just don't understand. But, like, they don't, again, they don't do that much with her. She's, I feel like she's, like, one of the most weakest characters out of the, the Torna, um, the Torna gang. Like, aside from Jin and Malice, who are completely great. Um. Mikhail, who's just his iconic, iconic dude. Uh, Akos, who's a little, little asshole. I think they really only encountered Petroka, like, twice. And that was it. They don't do a whole lot with her. That's really, that's really all I have to say about her. Okay, um. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I mean, I don't really have any strong feelings for her, but that's just me. <clears throat> okay, um, Numa. I feel like the way they categorize this fucking tier list is fucking great. Sarcasm, completely intentional. Who the fuck is this? Oh yeah, I know, I know him, I know him. Okay, um, Numa. It's, it's tier, I mean, it's Pyra and Mithra fused together. I mean, as a matter of fact, let me just, let me, let, let me just, yeah, <laughs> um, <clears throat> Power and Mithra especially, I mean, let me actually just group them together here, actually, why don't I, um, Mithra's character is so, 
how do I put this? Like, he's just a big ol' Sundre, and fucking snarky, but... By the end of, um, Torna, and, um, the main game especially, she gets to the point where she, like, completely doesn't like herself that much. Like, I can understand that kind of self-deprecation and all that. But, like... It's like, she, you, you, li you like her for that reason, right? Where, like, after Torna, she's like this big ol' snarky, overconfident... Legendary weapon girl, like she, she, her, her, like her whole thing is just basically fucking really sad, especially P Pyra, because like they both want to kill themselves because of their power, like, like obviously Pyra's to is toned down a bit, so she doesn't really mind it much, but both of their ultimate goal in the end was to basically kill themselves, pretty much, and um, that's really sad, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on, actually. I forget I'm not using this. But no, yeah, um, I like Pyro and Mithra a lot. Like, on top of their designs, which who I, which I don't understand, are, like, I mean, they're, they are a bit sexualized, but that's, that's really it. I mean, they, that, that goes, that kind of doesn't, um say what the characters are. I mean, they're, they're fucking... Oh, it's so hard to explain Power and Mithra without spoiling too much. I mean, I don't... And, like, Mithra's the, the good old mo mom character for Rex. Also, GF. Don't at, don't at me. <laughs> but, um... Also, yeah, actually, while I'm at it, um, put Pyra above, um... Put Pyra above Mithra. Cuz... <laughs> Pyra Supremacy. I'm sorry. You've heard it from me. Um... But no, yeah, I feel like the way they, they um, did the Aegises are just, um... They're good characters. Especially, let me get back to Poppy, too. That one moment with, um... Poppy and, um, Mithra kind of helps a lot. was like, oh, we can both destroy the world. So if either of us do that, we'll kill each other. Deal? Like, deal, okay. But no, Poppy is fucking cute. That's, that's all I really have to say about her. Like, she's just this big old baby just wandering around the Xenoblade, the Xenoblade world. Who's also overpowered as hell. Especially as a cute, cutie pie, but I won't get into her. Because this is just coming off of base poppy. Where she's like that for the whole game, pretty much. So I feel like that it doesn't really matter. But yeah, no, poppy's just this good old pure bean. Who just kind of want, who just kind of around, thanks to Tora. Tora, actually, actually speaking of Tora. I mean, it's not, it's not that I, it's not that I hate him. But, but, I gotta admit, the whole shtick with, um, how old even is Tora? Because I feel like all, all these, like, people are like, um, oh, Tor um, Tora, um, made char character, he's kind of gross, but like, like, it, like, it would be if he was an old man, like, um, his grandpa, like, it's weird, it's weird for them, but I feel like it's perfectly normal for Tora, because he's like, at the end of the day, he's still kind of a he's kind of, kind of a baby child, but at the same time, like he's not too en endearing as a character to me. Cause like they all have these big moments, but Tora, he doesn't really get that aside from like um reuniting with um his 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 his, his grandpa pawn or daddy pawn or whatever whatever they go about it. But no, it's not. It's not like I don't. It's not like I, ha I hate Tora. As, as, I don't know if I, I really, I really do like him. But he's just not one of the better char characters in the gang. And I basically ranked all of them that that high up. But um. But no, I don't really um have strong feelings for, for Tora. But I also understand like how he is as, as a character for the gang and how, how he basically like um. Like that's the thing with um both um. Tora and Poppy. There's just these little children just, um, going with you on this journey. I think it's that's a big play in it for their characters. Okay, um, who, who the fuck is this? Like, I know he helps upgrade the Monado, but that's it. I put him on C tier, actually. He's fine. 
but let me look up let me again let me look up his name just in case I feel like I've done it a lot but I may as well roll with it I can't do it I can't do it Okay, what's his fucking name? Bro, he's so unmemorable. He's not even a part of the wiki. I'm not even joking. This man isn't even a part of the wiki. That's kind of sad, bro. Okay, this is all I have to say, bro. I understand his role in the story. Like, he's just this, um, this guy who, um... This man had his grace with, but at least he helped out. Like he helped, he helps out the, the he helps you make upgrade the Monado, and actually fight the Fog King. Ha, <laughs> Fog, Fog King. But um, no, that's all they do with him. At least with him, he does something meaningf meaningful in the story. But with him, he's like, oh, I just, I just had this big, big old argument with him. So I'll just I'll just tell you where he is and just leave it at that, and help you again in the future maybe I don't know I don't care, <laughs> but no that's really it. Like he's fine enough he's not evil or anything he's just he's just he's just fine. Uh, who the fuck is this? Um, I think I'll actually put her in in um this here this year as well. I'm gonna look up her name just in case though I don't want to like, oh um I don't care for this character so I'm not even gonna bother looking up her name. Okay. Uh. Rak Rakua, Rakua. I'm Rakua. I'm assuming that's her. That's her. That's her name. But um. But no, she she's not really that good of a character to me. I mean, I feel like they just she's just part of the story for like a bit, and then I, that's kind of it. Not really, kind of not one of the more memorable characters, characters to me. In all honesty, I mean, I wish I had something to say about her, but I, I literally forgot she existed. I don't even know that much about her character either. So it's like, what can I say really? Also, this, this is again the dumb thing with these um, tier lists is like they categorize these two characters like really strangely. I mean, they're the same character, right? So like. What do you want me to do? Just categorize them together? I mean, fair enough, I guess. Rex. The 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 boyo himself. Rex is um complicated for me. I mean he's like again this boyo who's on this um big old quest for for this chick girl, like He's a good boyo, but he's not he's not my favorite protagonist, in my opinion. Speaking of um Shulk He'll just go up there for the sake. I'll explain to him after Rex, but <clears throat> Rex to me is like this, this um, just kind of this character who goes through this entire character. Where it's like, oh, I love this, I love this character. So I'll do anything for her. Like he's like this throughout the entire game, and he has his low, he he has his lows as well as his highs, right? But to me, like his his entire thing is just like it doesn't really mesh well with me as um. As Shulk and like Laura, like I wouldn't say Laura's that much better of a protagonist. Like she doesn't go through all this um major character development from how short um Torna is, but at least with her, she's just kind of like you know her fate basically. Oh, I'm assuming you played um Xenoblade One first. I'm not Xenoblade One. I'm Xenoblade Two, the main game first, but um. I don't know, like, I can't, I don't hate Rex for, for a lot of reasons, um, anybody, anybody else does, like, his voice and shit. I feel like that doesn't have a play on, like, their character at all, in my opinion. Like, their voice should be, like, like, yeah, her, their voice helps, but it's not the definition of their character, basically. And even then, there's, like, the original voice cast where, like, where it's, like, the, basically, the, the, the original intentions for the character, you know? But no, Rex is just this good old boyo. He's like who loves it, who loves this um 
who, who who's into threesomes? <laughs> I can't blame him, but um, but no, yeah, I feel like um, Rex is like one of the like I wouldn't say weakest Xenoblade protagonist because El Elma doesn't really go through much that much um character development either, and that's when you're the protagonist, and that's a uh, kind of a bit weird to me if you ask me, but um, but no, yeah, Rex is okay. I don't hate him for like a lot of reasons. Um, pe a lot of people do, but I don't really. Um, he's just a good boy. Oh, that's all I really have to say about him. Um, Rock. Oh boy. Um, I feel like this is goes alongside Vandom. As a matter of fact, where is he? Vandom. I put Vandom at B tier just for his his impact on Rex <clears throat> from his death. Like I, I will admit that the fact that they've gone through so much to make a, make a tree for him. As well as um, all this, you can make him level ninety nine at the very beginning while he's in while he's in your party. I I wish they'd done, they, I wish he didn't die, bro. But I understand why he did. As for Rock, like he's cool when he's around, especially when Vandom is around. But after after that, he's just out of the out of the story. Like he he gets no mention at all. As a matter of fact, I think they completely dropped Vandom. Aside from like, Nia bringing up oh um. Yeah, sorry, I kind of I kind of let him die because I didn't want to reveal that I was a flesh eater or some shit like that, which kind of dents her for me. But you understand her fear. But with um Rock, they don't bring him back up at all. Like I said, like, oh um I can't use my um my blades in on the um uh spirit crucible. It was called the spirit crucible, right? So um. He uses Rock's weapons it in there, I'm pretty sure, but that's it. Like I don't I don't know, like it isn't that Rock is forgettable, like all these bottom ones here. It's just that they really don't do a lot with them. And that's kinda sad to me. Same goes for Sever, because um he's fucking he's fucking neat as a character. But he talks like at the very beginning of the game and then never again. I'm pretty sure he has a side quest, but I didn't check it out yet, but as of now, I really don't feel that much for him. I've, as of, if anything, I wish he was in the game more. That's the thing about the Blades too. Like, I don't understand why... Oh, I get it. Um, we're Blades too, so we're not going to use Blades anymore. That was so lame. I was like, bro, their core crystals are right there. Unless he um, faded away, actually. Like, did their core crystals actually break? I'm, I'm not sure if they actually ever explained that, because I know that Mithra just kind of killed them all, and that, that was the end of them, basically. But, um, no, they don't do a lot with, with um, these um blades, and that's that's kind of lame to me. Okay, um, Emperor, the Emperor. Um, I don't know his name, actually. Let me actually look it up. I feel like... Let me look this up. Sauron, Sor or Sorian. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. I mean, he, he's he's cool. Same reason for um Vandam. He's not in the story for too long. Like he has his moment with um Melia and everything, but he just kind of dies. <laughs> but um, you, I don't really have a big old reason to hate him. He's just he's just a cool dude. As for this fucker. I don't know... I don't really know this this dude. I mean, all I know for sure is he's the guy behind the Flesh, e the flesh Eater project, I think. With, um, Gort being the very first prototype, I'm assuming. But no, like, I don't fucking remember this guy at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just go check his name really quick. As I've been doing this entire time, don't, I, don't um, question me. I'm sorry that I have to keep doing this. Um, I don't think it's here. <clears throat> Stan Niff. Stan, Stan, Stan Niff. Stan Niff. Stan Niff. 
Okay, I guess. But, um, no, I, I really don't remember this, this man at all. If anything, you, you could have just removed him from the story. And just, like, you, you, you would have lost nothing. Aside from, like, oh, um, I'm, I'm the guy who made Gort a, a flesh eater. But, um... Oh wait, no, it's not- it's not the Flesh Eaters, it's, it's the Blade Eaters. Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah, Gort was the very first Blade Eater. I'm, I'm assuming that's what they were, that's what they were called. Bit of, kind of fucked up, but that's really it. Not very interesting at all. Like, I think he was on screen like twice. That, that was kind of it for me, if anything. I'm Keelan. Hmm. Keelan's tough, cause... Again, he's just- he's just a boyo. And he 100% he helps out in um, Future Connected. But aside from like being an NPC in the game, where even then, back then he's, he's at um, Telethia Research, which is pretty cool to like implement him in Future Connected. But again, he doesn't do, do a whole lot, if you feel me, you know? But at the, that's, at the same time, I don't... You don't... Again, they don't... Like, they don't give you a lot of reasons to hate these kind of characters, but at the same time, they don't give you a lot of reasons to like them a whole lot either, as much as them, the main cast and all. Okay, um... Gort. Again, villain who's memorable enough, but... I feel like his impact on, like, the future of the game was really, really weak. That, that's a thing, like, um... Aside from like, oh, I'm I'm the real final boss or some, something like that. Actually, not really. He's just this this um, small mini boss for the for like for Tora's um not not uh, Tora <laughs> Laura Laura's whole um way to like get over um basically her her way of avenging her mother basically that's all that's all this fight really was. But at the same time, Gort really doesn't add a whole lot to the sto the story. Like you fight him, he, he loses his arms. He turns into a fleshy, a blade eater, and dies. That's all. That's, that's all he really is. But you remember, you remember him enough. Like, oh, that guy who like um I fought at the very end. Like, at least he has that sort of that sort of impact. Aside from like these characters down here, where they really don't do a whole lot. Cause Gort is a, is a threat throughout, kind of. Like when you first meet him, he's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you with these um. He's basically a worse mom car, in my opinion. I feel like they even try to emphasize... Like, oh, he's the Zeal Bay 2 mom, mom car. I have these claws and all these all, but like... That, it's like they completely forgot what made mom car such a big ol' threat. Threat, threat. Cause, especially because of Jin. Like, I understand, like, Jin is this overpowered, um... One of the most powerful blades. And can literally slice the man's arms off. But no, Gord is kind of pathetic in my opinion. I mean, I don't, I don't really have a lot to say about him just for that reason. Same for this. Same for this person. I mean, actually, yeah, I'll put him here because um, I feel like his whole thing being the the old Praetor, he doesn't do a whole lot. Like that's the thing about um, what what's it, what's the, what's the cut in his name they are in um. I know, I know the name of it. I know the name of it. Um, hold up. This better be. This is better be here. Redalis. But yeah, no, I I don't recognize his intentions in the game at all. He's literally just the Praetor. Like, like right before Amalthus. Like, he dies. And that's kind of it. I don't really remember what he did as a villain in, um, in Torna, but, like, no. But, like, no, that, that's not how you write a, that's not how you write a villain. Like, he's not even a main threat, either. Like, the main threat is, the main threat is Malos. Okay? That's the whole thing with Torna. Like, all these, all these other dudes in Torna, get them Get them the fuck out of there. If you remove them from the story, you, you, you lose practically nothing, in my opinion. But no, I feel like if they wanted me to like like these characters a lot, they should have done something more. As for the Torn the Torn and the King, that's not that's not a, a J, that's literally what his name is. Um, they don't do a whole lot with him either. Cause like that's all he is. Like he's the king of Torna. 
I don't remember if um he's like um a Adam's dad or something like that. I don't think he is. But no, he he really just um I feel like the big impact is like oh he he gives these people to um Adam, but that's that's kind of it. They don't give like a this big old um this whole thing with like um with Cali the way that Callian and um the Emperor went out. He, he's just kind of like basically the Emperor, but a, a lot weaker. If that makes any sense. Okay, this this guy too. Basically, I mean, you want, I understand that he's the founder of Tantal. But that, that they don't that doesn't really add anything to him. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say, but uh, like uh, that's the thing about the, the, the char char characters he like. Like you acknowledge that they they exist, except for like these bottom ones. But like they're not really strong in my opinion. They're not really strong, basically. Um. Like all I know for him basically is like, oh, I fa I I kind of found Tor um Tantal and I made a deal with um. Let me look the let me look this this uh, Titan's name up. Uh, Xenoblade, Titans. Okay, the actual Titan is actually called Genbu. I don't know why I was called. I was calling it on Tantal. Okay, Indol, Indol. But yeah, no, that's really all they do with um, this guy. I mean, they, he just kind of found Tantal. Um, actually, um, actually, no, I'll call it Tantal. Because why not? I don't feel like calling it Genbu. But um, no, that's all they do with him. Okay, Tyrea. Tyrea is Tyrea is fine. I feel like they do a whole lot more with, more with her and um and um future connected, but at the same time they they did they did her dirty by not making her playable. Like bro, why wasn't she like the next Dunban? That would have been fucking cool. But no, you rescue her. She's like this um she's a big old softy for Teelan. Basically a, a mother figure I think, but no that's kind of um. But you don't you don't hate her especially. Because it was that one side quest in um, the original game where it's like, Oh, I'm half bombs too, actually. I just kind of have my fully grown wings compared to you. Haha. -ha. Actually, that's not her character at all. I'm sorry, but, um... But no, I don't I don't think she's evil, evil. She's just kind of like a little misguided, if anything. But at, at the same time, she's not a huge character, in my opinion. She's just, she's just kind of good. As for Vanea... I think I'll put on A tier. I mean, pretty helpful character when, the moment you meet her. I mean, you understand her intentions. She made the Monado replicas. I I think I think she did. I, I I figured it was the doctor who made them the made them, but no, that was Vanea. <clears throat> She's a big old help to, help to the gang up until um Egg Eggle dies. But aside from that, I don't think she's that ma that big of an impact on me. As the rest of the characters, but no, she's she's cool. I like her. Oh boy, <laughs> General Vanguard. Oh boy, the 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 OG Vandom. Even though his name is Vanguard, but that's not a point. Um, I I will be honest. He's like, like he's great, but at the same time, he's not like that big of an impactful character. He's like he's kind of like one of those meme characters, you know. Like with um the Ardanians, the Ardanian soldiers and all that, he's basically that, but ten times more memorable in, to me. I mean, he's funny as fuck. He's so fucking, he's so cartoonishly um um what's the word I'm looking for? He's basically this big old general, this all over exaggerated gen general sergeant. It's so he's he's funny as hell. I like him, but also not like. Big enough to like slap it on on a like an S tier or something that like that would be me like me memeing this um this whole um S tier but when he's when he's on my my, gen my genuine feelings I don't think I can do that here so he's like a B tier for me okay um Nene and Ki I mean Kino and Nene um I mean 
I feel like they're yeah, they're C tiers, both of both of them actually. Like I've done all their heart heart to hearts and future connected. Like as a matter of fact, I wanted to, I wanted to percent um future connected, but I mean they're fine enough. I mean I would have prefer I've honestly would have preferred like the like just Charla and um just Char the just Charla and Ryan basically. Cause again, they're just, they're just as these little babies like on the on your your adventure basically. Like the thing with Nene, like the the the, the joke that they do with her. He's like, oh, I'm a no pun that you knew. I'm one of Ricky's kids from like a year ago. We grow up fast and all that. Um. Oh, hey, welcome back, Zeno. Um, Rip X characters. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I may as well just kill them all. Am I right? But no. Um. But you know, I think Nene and Kino are 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 fine um, characters enough. But um. They don't do a whole lot with them. Is like with with Kino is like, oh, I'm I'm adopted. And, um, with Nene, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm basically, like, it's this, um, I will say that Nene is, is basically stronger than Kino, due to the fact that, um, her character actually has a lot more, if you play, if you 100%, um, Xenoblade 1. Because Ricky does mention one of his kids, like, go up on a tree, and that was cute, and then Nene brings it up, and that's, that, and you remember, oh, Ricky brought that up, and that was pretty good shit, but aside from that, no, I'm... To, to me, I think they're fine. Not really notable um, main characters, in my opinion. But yeah, no, I think they're pretty much okay. Uh, Rex's is, Rex is mom. I'm, I'm a, I, oh wait, mother figure, basically. Um, she's okay. I mean, I, I, remember her, I remember her enough, but aside from that, I don't really remember her her whole thing. Like, I remember she's like, oh, I'm, I'm actually okay with you, and um, I just that's that's where that's where it came from. Like this whole um, all blades and um, humans get married, and then and that and as a way to tease Rex and um Pyra, Pyra specifically. She's memorable enough. I like her. She's cool, cool cool mother figure. Oh Hayes, Hayes, what what a precious ba baby. Um, I wish I had a lot to say about Hayes, but like. She's basically, um, this whole character dynamic, the whole character dynamic with, um, Laura and, um, oh, and that song is over already, goddamn. How long have I been streaming for? What the fuck? Okay, now we're in 22 minutes. I I feel like so much time has passed every time I, I actually go through the music here as I'm, as I'm talking, Jesus. <clears throat> okay, um, I still play this one. Yeah, that works. But yeah, no, um, Hayes, I mean, she's cool. She's cool. She's cool enough. Like, I like the whole character dynamic with her, with her and, um, with her and Laura. Like they're, like, them basically being sisters and all. She's a lot, a lot more endearing as a character in, um, Torna. But in, um, base game, she, she's fucking tragic as hell. I mean, she dies and all, but, like... You understand that that's what she- that's actually what she wants, and that's kind of like, oh, I cry. But like, again, I don't really remember much from, um, my Torna playthrough, but I do remember that, like, she was really, really- She's- she's just kind of sweet. She's- she's a big ol' sister fi sister figure for Laura. She's kind of like this big ol' sweetheart who's actually a bit snarky sometimes, where it's like- <laughs> she, she, I think she even joins in on the Mithra bullying, and I think that's really funny. As for um Hugo, Hugo's a bit of a C tier for me. I mean, he's just Nile, basically. Speaking of where the fuck is Nile? Yeah, C tier for him as well. They're basically the same character. I'm sorry. Nile, I mean Hugo is just Nile with as a playable character. That's really it. There's really not big of a huge difference between them, aside, like, from, like, he's the original warrior of, um, actually, the, the original heir of, um, Mara Dane, and that's kind of, like, that's kind of what Hugo's character is going for as well, that it might as well be the same character, you know, like, like, this big old sacrifice with him, like, is, is really sad, but at the same time, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. As a matter of fact, I feel like he's one of the more bo boring characters in um, Torna. Like, he's not... I don't remember him being funny at all. 
but I do acknowledge his his that he's um he at least has some good intentions in in, in him. Like he's just as he wants to help out. He he does sacrifice himself to save um Adam and every. I don't. I think he tries to save everybody else with his shield, or only Adam. I don't remember from the ending. The ending but no, that's really it for him. Same goes for um, Milton. <laughs> F funny because you two have the same name. I'll put him in C tier as well. It's not that he again. He's a, he's basically just the same the same idea as a uh, Mikhail. Just a bit more fu a bit more fun to him because he does get in on on the Mithra bullying as well. But as I say, no, he he really is. He does is a bit, a bit of development with a um, Mithra and all. But as I say, no, he's not that strong to me. It probably doesn't help that he's not. He's basically not around as often, especially once you you get to um. Um. What the? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just remembered actually. Um. Uh. I need, I need to actually play this theme now. Hold on. Aristico, yeah. Let me play this, actually, while I actually talk about it. Uh, but no, once you get to um the capital, he doesn't really do a whole lot. What I do like is this whole, this whole thing with basically being this... Um, basically helps out when, whenever there's like a comedic thing going on. Like, he tries Mithra's terrible cooking... He throws this. I'm, I'm assuming he throws this big ol' um, cooking competition between everybody in this one side, side quest. He's one of the judges, I believe. But he, he's 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 okay to me. Same goes for um, Minoth. I mean, he, they they really just don't do a whole lot for me, especially when um ha when one of them is playable. Like Minoth to me is just like. Like you feel like they, it was like supposed to be some sort of development for him, as from the base game where it's like, oh, I used to be this um, yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a flesh eater. But at the same time, they don't really do a whole lot with that. Like he's like, that's the thing about it about it too. Like, like, like oh yeah, I'm a flesh eater. Like so casually. They did they, they don't do anything interesting with it. Like um with um. Nia and um. Nia and Jin, like they were both, um, like Jin is the is a is the purest flesh eater. If that makes sense, and Nia is just a really powerful one. Minoth is basic is basically pretty basic when it comes to being a flesh eater. Like he he may he might as well just be a regular old blade, which he is, but but that's assuming that's just taking. Out his the fact that he's a, a flesh eater out of, out of the question. I mean, again, also he's not very funny either. But as I say, I don't really hate him as much as um, these characters down here, because they do some they do some stuff with this character. Just not a whole lot of interesting stuff to me. Oh boy, yeah, Fiora, she's S tier. What do you want? What do you want me to say? F Fiora, she's a big old sweetheart. Especially when she's in a um, mechon form where she finally um, conf I wouldn't say directly confessed to Shulk, but at the same time, you know that they should be get together. They're they're pretty good to me, honestly. She's pretty good. F Fiora, Fiora's also just have this. They all have pretty good character designs to me. All the Xenoblade One characters here. I feel. Oh yeah. By the way, I I will explain on um, Melia once we get there. But she's basically top tier for me. I'm sorry. Dude, put me in C tier. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can't put you any higher. I or Milton. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah. Um, I, I like Fiora. She's she's good. She's a good girl. And honestly, one of the more. I would say tragic if she if she didn't get her body back. Like she she, like in the art book. That was never localized, by the way. It was translated. Though. Go check it out if you can. It was basically explained how how long it took for Fiora's body to be put together for the ending, and um, it, it was just really sweet. Ryan, it's Ryan time, baby. <laughs> I gotta put him. In, I gotta put him in S tier. 
might as well put Nancy in C tier. Who? <laughs> Who? Which one? Is there a Nancy in the game? Oh boy, um, but no, R R Ryan is, he's just a big old lo lovable brute. <laughs> a fucking dumbass, but you love him. I mean, that's really all I have to say for him. I mean, he's he's very he's a very endearing character as well. Like he gets he uses big old moments with Shulk and the gang. He, he, they're good. As a matter of fact, um, while I'm at it, um, referring to you, well, you know what? Fair enough. I'm not really interesting, so you can just put me there. I don't. It's fine. That's honestly fair. Um, Alvis. I mean. It's temptation to put him on S tier. Cause like he's cool. But at the same time, it's kinda like it's like this basically. Um like, this is this this man's this man is fucking hot as hell. The reason I became bi. Uh but um Aside from like his little moments, like he's 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 like this mon mono monotone do the entire time. I mean, you get it. He's a he's literally he's literally a fucking robot, and a blade on top of that, basically confirmed or shoehorned in. Goodbye, friend. At one percent. Oh god. Um, take care then. But yeah, I'll just keep talking here. But no, yeah. The thing about Alvis is like he's not really interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. If he was, if he was like, if he had any any less impact in the story, he would be lower. But I'll put him in A tier just for the just for the sake of like, he has a really good design. His whole thing in the story makes sense. He's just, he's just really not that interesting to me. Like he, like he like, and that's understandable too. He's like a very weaker version of Pyre and Mithra, who's like, like you understand, he doesn't he doesn't have time to like, actually make a personality out of himself. And it was like he does have that. He's this big old snarky, but he's like that for like a, such a little amount of time. It's like he's little again. He's literally a robot, so can't really blame him for that. But he, he's just a smidge away from like S tier. That's but that's just me. Okay, Dixon, Dixon, just Dixon. Um, this is a tough one for me. Um. Like I, I liked I liked Dixon a lot throughout the story, but then his character kind of spir downward spiraled a bit when he was like, like evil, you know. Like you, like you get it, but at the same time, like their reason to make him evil is like, it's so stupid, you know. Like oh yeah, he's his disciple. That's it. They don't um go into why he's his disciple at all. Which is the thing I wanted. I, another thing I wanted from Future Connector. I wanted an explanation for why Dixon is a disciple. A prequel story to um the war between um Bionis and Mikans. That's what I wanted. But um I still like Future Connected. I just wish they they done something like that, like like a Torna S story for Simulator One. And I'm hoping for DLC or something, but I I doubt it, honestly. But no, but just for that, I'll just put him on A tier as well. Like he, Dix, I like Dix, Dixon all the way through, like at the beginning. But like, he's just just um, this old man, old man who's kind of cool. But at the same time, they kind of he kind of downward spirals up until his death. And that's kind of lame. Well, that's kind of lame. I'm sorry. Dunban, S tier man, <laughs> S tier. On top of like being being the OG Blossom Dance man. He, he's he's pretty he's a, he's just a big old fucking badass bro, badass friendo. I mean I can't really explain it better than that. He's he's just a big old badass who basically like sli slices through everybody like like a the classic sam samurai character. He, he's just a really cool cool guy, especially his personality. He's like he's literally just a big old big old. Big old brother, which is basically what he is to these characters. To me, I like the dynamic between every everybody and him. And it, his heart to heart genuinely make him stronger. And especially his reunion with Fiora, it, it's so so good. He's a he's a really good fucking character to me. One one of the best, honestly. Ricky, 
Uh, I, I want to put him on S tier, but at the same time, he's not... Again, don't do a whole lot with him. That's, that's the thing about, about these, um... These sidekick characters, like... They have this, these one little moments where he's like, Oh yeah, I'm actually a dad, so I know where you're coming from. But that's kind of it on his part. Like, he's, he's this, um, this mascot character... But you can't, you can't bring yourself to hate him, basically. I, I wish he was kind of stronger. Like, that's the thing, too. Like, I, I did all these um, side quests with Ricky and all. But they don't do anything for him, basically. Like, you already know he's in debt. He's he's basically just roaming around with you to get over his debt. And he does do that, and he still goes with you. But from there, he just doesn't add a whole lot. He's just this big old lov lovable puffball who follows you around. And you can't you can't hate him for it, but he he I like Ricky a lot, just not as much as the other characters to me. Charlotte's the same way; she's B tier for me. Um, uh, they did Charlotte so dirty. She like I honestly think she has one of the better designs out of the characters. Like she's she's just this this big old sis, sister girl. She's like really really really. really like, you understand her character enough, but aside from, like, her whole Gattle thing, they don't really, um, de develop her as much. Like, you understand her, the whole tragedy of Colony 6 and everything. But after that, especially, um, during the events of, like, everything else happening, it's like, it, does, it, it does nothing in her favor. And up until you finally meet up with Gattle, Gattle's already gone, so... Yeah, very short-lived, but um, I wish they'd done more with Charla, cause she, she, she's honestly great to me, just not as um great as all these other characters. Like, like she's just this big old sister figure for, especially for Melia, who like supports the idea of um her and Shulk together, but it just wasn't meant to be, you know. But still, who the fuck is this? Um, I'll just put him down here. I'll, I'll just- I'll look to search up your name just in case, because I'm not that disrespectful. But no, yeah, um, Mel- um, that character is not memorable to me at all. Like, I get it, she's evil. Oh, this big old evil lady who wants to kill my, her own daughter or stepdaughter or some shit. She's dumb. I don't, I don't even know what happened to her at, like- what even happened to her, actually? I don't remember this character at all. Yumea? Is that her name? But no, yeah, Yumea is fucking stupid. I don't like her at all. I think she actually runs away. Oh wait, no, she turns into a Telethia. But no, like, the whole thing with her is like, Oh, I don't like you, so I'll, I'm gonna kill you. She's not endearing at all. She's just, she's just, um, very weak villain. Who's not even around for that long. And up until, like, you understand, you know, up until you see her as a Telethia, you kill her. You don't feel anything out of it. Like, aside from, like, it was Amelia's mother, stepmother and all. You don't feel much out of it. And that's kind of sad to me. Zanza. Oh boy. Um. You know, I've got to say it. Better, better than Klaus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the fact that he's like completely diabolical, evil as hell. What, honestly, the, vil the, the, the Xenoblade villain. This is what, this is what the villain should go for, honestly. But at the same time, Zanza has had his reasons. Like he, he obviously was being forgotten by everybody down there. So, but so we just basically decided to like restart the universe over and over, or, or something like that. Like aside from like Klaus, who's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just recreate the whole universe. They basically have the same idea, just basically chaotic evil, the the chaotic evil direction. I mean, while I while I don't, I can't really say that um Klaus is any. Because, again, I don't hate Klaus. It's just that... Uh, what do I even say about him? Like, 
But with Zanza, I have every re every everything about him is like surrounded like chaotic, evil, diabolical asshole. Like the fact that he they he even they all even share the same voice actor as I'm sure just to basically say that he's basically taking over his body at the same time. It, it's just cool. But uh, but yeah um but yeah, yeah no um Zanza is pretty great. I don't, I don't want to say that um. Because that's the thing, I wouldn't rank him and Klaus together because they're completely different, different characters and all. Like, they're the same person, yeah, but his evil half is basically Zanza, and I feel like that's um that's what they should have done around and, um... Like, have a little bit of that in, in Klaus. Like, he understands, like... I think that's the thing, too. Like, I think he sees his... He, he knows about his main... His other half, his evil half. Like, he knows when it's gonna die, but that's really... That's really... But again, I don't see these two at the same as the same character. I really don't. Okay, very last one, the very last person. I'm not. Don't put him there. Don't put him there. S tier. I mean, I mean, I say this is a lot for the characters, but I feel like what works for Zeke is that he he's this big old goofball, but at the same time he's this um he can when he's serious, it's a, it's really effective. I like the fact that it, that they had give him they they actually do give him the eye of shining justice in New Game Plus. But yeah, he's a, he's just a really cool character to me. Like not as weak as all these other characters. But the the dynamic with him and the rest of the characters is really funny too. He's just this big old goofball who's just who who knows what's what's in his heart basically. I I don't know. Like I'm really bad at explaining why I like characters as much as I do. I just hope that my explanation is kind of enough. Because I feel like I've given that to a lot of these... Excuse me. Um, I, I've given that reason to a lot of characters, but... Again, not all, not really all that good at explaining all this stuff. At the top of my head, at least. But I, I know for a fact that Zeke is like... His whole thing with uh, him almost dying, and he's kind of... He's kind of a blade eater in his own way. I mean, as a matter of fact, I think I think that's why he has the eye of shining justice. Is because of that little piece of um, Pandoria's um, core crystal in there. But no, yeah, um, yeah, that's really it. That's all these characters. As for Melia, oh boy, I, I feel like I, I wanted to save her for last. I just kind of wanted to put her at the very top because I just love her that much. But um, Melia's so fucking tragic. Like. On top of her people, just completely, completely turning into Talathia. Her into basically her entire original family di dying just because of Z Zenza. The whole romance thing going with it hit with her and Shul going completely down the drain. She's just so fucking sad, <laughs> and, and um, the fact that they did did her so dirty. It's just why I can sympathize with her so much. Not even in the sense that um. Not in the sense that, um, hold on, what do I want to say here? And it says that I have an entire family dying. Oh, what's good, Zeno? Welcome back. But yeah, no, I was about to end this up with, um, my, my explanation for Melly. Um, but no, yeah, um, I like Melly a lot just because there's just so much tragedy surrounding her character. I just can't bring myself to, like, think that she's weak character. Especially that, remember, you remember that one fucking meme where it's like, Melly is one of the weaker characters in, in Xenoblade? I've never heard so much bullshit in a line, ever. <laughs> like, Melody's one of the more completely fleshed out characters out there. I wouldn't say, um, that's, that's the thing about Future Connected. That's the thing about it, because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it, but at the same time, I'm happy that it actually gave a closing end for Melia. Like, for, for, Mel for Melia's thing, it's basically like this, um... She's basically sad that she can't do anything for her people in the ending, and she thinks about the future that 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 um that wait that waits for everyone. So in Future Connected, when she finds out that Alchemoth is still floating around, she gets determination to actually save it again, and I like that. I like that they ended off with her becoming the new Empress of Alchemoth, and I like that a lot. I mean, Melly is just fucking great to me. She's such a tragic character. 
But that's exactly why I love her so much. I, I just can't bring myself to like Fiora as much because with Fiora, like yeah, she dies, but then she gets her body back, which basically like completes her her character basically. With Fio with Melia, her people are still gone. Her family is still dead in the future, future connected, but she does get some closure. And I, I gotta say, she's just. I, I'll just say it. Melia Supremacy, baby. Oh, boy. How long have I been at, sitting here for? An hour? Uh, an hour of 50 minutes just talking about these characters. Jesus Christ. I will have to admit, I, I kind of been was a little bit boring about how I categorize these characters, but I, I sincerely hope that um once the VOD comes out, people will understand where I'm coming from, but... As a matter of fact, let me just screen- let me actually just screenshot this and post it on Twitter. And I'll, I'll actually- What should I do here, actually? Should I stream Bloodborne? Should I play- should, should I stream Bloodborne after this? I feel like I should. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let me just screenshot this and, um... Post it on Twitter. As a matter of fact, why don't, why don't, why don't I actually, um, stream myself actually watching the reactions to everybody seeing my list? I think that, I think that would be funny. Okie dokie. Let me zoom out, zoom out a little. Crop that. Save as um, JPEG. Okay, so let me just um. Actually, can I just save this? Like, save this list. Okay, I can. I can, I can actually just download it. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll just, um, bust out Twitter, actually. Can this actually... Yeah, I, I can see it. Okay, cool. Can't you copy and paste? I've already saved it, so... I don't think you can copy-paste images. Like, you have to actually have the file. Uh, I believe it's my, it's my image here. Where is it exactly? Uh... Why do I have a picture called NTR? What? Okay. Um, can I actually just copy paste it? Oh, huh, I can. Nice. Okay. I didn't realize you could. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm using Chrome, but no, you can copy-paste, I guess. Or just drag it, whatever works. Bad grammar. Um. Okay. Let's see what people think. So close to the ri to the rise release date, baby. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to rise too. 
I don't want to pre-order it though, cause um, again, I don't have the money. But at the same time, I don't know how fulfilling I'd be if um they actually they actually um gave us the dog and um the cat as DLC. Or that's the thing is um is the whole thing actually um exclusive to the pre-order the dog and the cat. Because I do want the dog, I do want the dog wolf skin character. I just don't know if it'll be worth it, to be honest, you know? Yeah, I've, I don't know if they actually make that. Oh, um, it is a pre-order bonus, we just won't make it available until way later. Yes, pre-order exclusive. Damn. I was hoping it was, um, at least something that I was, um... At least, like, it's a pre-order at first. And then it's available later, but I guess not. Oh boy, I guess I, I guess I will pre-order it. I don't know though. I don't know. I think it's also on pre-order for um digital. It's digital only too, right? Which is kind of lame to me, but oh well. I can't complain. There much. There might be future DLC like in base world. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay, I think I'll actually wait for that. But for now, I think I'm gonna bounce. And then maybe I'll come back with a Bloodborne. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll 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 do that. We'll do that. Someone just replied, what? Cool. Oh. It's just, it's just you. <laughs> Christ. I'm sorry. Pretty different Best Buy versus Steelbook. Okay, okay. Christ, you fucking scared me, Zeno, but I'm sorry. I just don't really like Milton a lot. The character, <laughs> not you. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> Should I even stream Bloodborne? Should I even do it? Because, like, my voice has almost gone out. I feel like I'll destroy it by tomorrow. When I go to Best Buy to get Rise, I can buy Rise of the Definitive Edition. Can you even still get that? Isn't it still full price? Or is that on, was that on sale alongside on Hyrule Warriors um, Age of Calamity? Because I've heard it was on sale just recently. I do want to I do want to get around to playing the Definitive Edition though. I've heard great things about Hyrule Warrior Hyrule Warriors. Man, like, I, I want to do Bloodborne, but at the same time, I don't think it'll do good on my voice, because I, I can feel my voice being destroyed as it is. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'll actually wait for replies. I guess I'll just wait until tomorrow, bump it or something. But, uh... But no, yeah, that's uh, really it on my part. Hold on, where's Mithra? Bring her back here. I say you go rest. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that, but for now, I'll just leave this, um... This juice box, Mithra. And just call it a, call it a night. But yeah, no, I'm gonna go rest my voice, do, do whatever, I guess, drink some water or something, and then I'll just, um, I guess I'll see you guys, I'll see you tomorrow with Bloodborne. We'll see. Because I do want to do Bloodborne this week. 
That's what I want to do with Blumber. I want to do weekly streams with um that game. You know the source for that? <laughs> I don't. It's like what Juice Juice Max is there. I really don't know where she came from. Uh, why don't we hunt her down together? Actually, let's let's hunt, let's hunt this picture down. Hold on, I need to actually um take this picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we gotta do this together. Click this one too, actually. Uh. All right, let me go to sauce now. Hold on, let me pull out um a window here. Okay. Uh. Okay, sauce now. I'm, I'm hoping this will, like, actually give me the source for Mithra. Search for her, please. Oh, oh no. It goes all the way back to 2018? What? Okay, no, that's not the source. Oh, you found it? <laughs> Christ, that was fast. Hold on, let me actually see this. Um, can I can I bust out on um, the chat here? Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's where she came from. That's cool. I'm gonna retweet that. Finally, a fucking source for the juice box, Mithra. Christ. <laughs> Patroka, no. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Yeah, no, I just really- I just really don't like, um... I just don't like her, I'm sorry. I'll just um close that now. Yeah, we don't we don't really. Oh, I I um killed the music actually. But yeah, but no, yeah. Um, I'll just um, <laughs> I'll just link um the juice box method in, in in my um vod, and, pe and people can check that out. But um, no, that's it for me. I'm just I'm just gonna go and rest. Um, yeah. Thanks for co thanks for coming and um, I'll see you on Bloodborne tomorrow. Maybe we'll see. Alrighty. I'm I'm gone. Bye. I'll probably see you on Twitter or something. I don't know. We'll see.